In this video, I'll discuss how to generate traffic error signal in MATLAB. I'll consider this signal xt. So here 0 to 1 it is increasing, then it will remain flat up to 4 seconds and it will again come down to 0 at 5 seconds, then it will remain at 0. Now first we will try to decompose this signal in terms of step signal and RAM signal with their delay components. So you see here 0 to 1 there is an increment okay it is rising. So I will put one RAM signal here. So this T into UT that will show that will give you one slope here slope equal to 1 but it will continue till infinity okay but here from up to 1 only it will remain there and beyond that it should be straight line okay so to get these things what I will do so this signal will imply that its slope is 0 so I need to put one RAM signal here to cancel this increment okay so I will consider this one this RAM signal downward and that is your minus t minus 1 u t minus 1. It's a delayed one and it's a negative only. Okay. So delayed of this signal. It is starting from 1. So if you combine these two, then you will see you will get this kind of signal, resulting signal. So there is a rise here and it will continue up to 1 second and beyond that it will remain flat, but it will remain flat up to infinity. But here again from 4 second there should be one downward slope and slope is equal to 1 minus 1 so I need to put another RAM signal here downward RAM so you see I will consider this one so it is delayed by 4 second thus we write minus of t minus 4 times u of t minus 4 ok so now if I combine these three these this and this then you will see you will get this kind of signal so it will be continuous till infinity but again I want one zero line beyond five seconds so I need to include one positive slope because it is containing on negative slope I I have to add one positive slope here like this so that signal I can write that it is delayed by five second so t minus 5 u of t minus 5 this RAM signal okay now if I add this this thing so meaning is that these four components if I combine then I will get this trapezoidal signal okay so so this x of t we can write as t u t the first component and second component is minus t minus 1 u of t minus 1 and third one is minus t minus 4 u of t minus 4 and the last component this one is plus t minus 5 u of t minus 5. Now we will try to implement this one in MATLAB. In MATLAB we will use anonymous function to implement that signals and it will be easy for us. Now suppose I want to get one any function the function suppose for example is square root of t okay is function of time so how to define that one in MATLAB so I can define that way that square so this variable sqrt t equals to and it's a function of time we write it in this form this form at the rate of t okay and then we will define t to the power 0 0.5 means t to the power half that is the square root of t. So this definition is sufficient in MATLAB. Okay. So I can put any value of t. So t could be uh, integer, could be any, any any variables. Okay. Or even we can consider vector also. Okay. So for example, if I write square root of 4, obviously you will get 2. Now you see we are going to use this kind of anonymous function in our MATLAB. So we will go to MATLAB window. So this is your MATLAB window. Now here, so you will see this is my code. Okay, 
trapezoidal dot underscore signal m file so this is a code one okay i'll discuss this this matlab code in detail so you will see here there is this workspace is clean and this there is no nothing is done in common window now if you run it you will get this trapezoidal signal easily okay so again it will start from zero then up go one then up to four then downward fine so this kind of pattern you will get it quickly now we will go to this discuss now i will discuss the code so our target is to implement this signal x of t is a t u of t minus t minus 1 u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 4 u of t minus 4 and one last component plus t minus 5 times u of t minus 5 okay so as usual we'll start with these three lines clear all close all and clc and then you see here we'll consider u so u is a step signal so we can write as this anonymous function at the rate of t and t more than equal to zero that's all because this is logical function when it is true then only it is one and for so, so for right hand side it is always one okay otherwise you can also use one user defined function that is called heavy side function so you can write u at the rate of t heavy side of t okay so you can use heavy side of t everywhere but uh, okay we, we can uh, this is our usual notation u we can write it in this way okay so anyone you can prefer, so either this or this one you can prefer and then once this u of t is defined now we can define our signal x of t okay so here ut is already there so we can write x equals to at the rate of t t dot star u of t this first component t times u of t so remember t will be our vector notations okay so i will put dot star okay and so this is one vector this is another vector so point to one multiple so element wise multiplication is fine okay then second component who can write it minus t minus one dot star u of t minus one likewise third one and fourth component very simple now uh, we can define our time range suppose i want to get time range from minus two to seven and in between i want to put 1000 points okay so there this one i can write in this way linear spacing so lin space function so minus 2 to 7 and i can in comma 1000 imply that you will get 1000 points within this range okay this way or simply you can write t equals to minus 2 to 7 and then you can put the increment Suppose I can put the increment 0 0.001. Okay, so in this way we can also define our time range, time vector t. Okay, then we can plot it simply. So this is uh, with respect to t, this x of t we can plot it. Okay, we can define x level, y level, and title, and also the limit, y limit, x, this one to get the better uh, safe right so this is minus one to two i have considered right so i think it is very simple you have understood this one so if you have not subscribed this channel you may subscribe it and you may like this video and i will be adding more such videos in future so thanks for watching we'll come back again